In this video, we're going to be looking at applying the blue screen effect to your videos in Caden Live. As you can see here, I've got the main Caden Live window open and I've got two clips in my project tree here. Um, I've got a foreground, this clip here, and I've got a background here. However, when we arrange our tracks such that there is one video track above another, what happens is the top most track will always obscure the bottom level. So when I run this video here, if I click on the play, you can see I either see the background as at this point or I see the foreground at this point. And when we go beyond the foreground clip, I go back to the background. Now that's not what we want in this case. What we want is when this foreground slide is showing, we want the background slide here to show through behind the word free. Okay, so this is where the blue screen effect comes in really handy. But before we can apply the blue screen effect, what we need to do is apply a transition between these two tracks. Now I think well, the word transition is a bit of a misnomer in Caden Live. Um, it can be used to transition between one clip and another, but it can also be used as a blend tool between two different layers. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click down in this bottom right hand corner to create a new transition. Now by default Caden Live will create a dissolve transition. So let's just play that again just to show you what that looks like. And you can see what happens is it gradually fades in. Which is great but that's not what we want to do. We want to see the background through the foreground clip. So I need to change the type of transition here from dissolve to composite. Okay so there are lots of different parameters that you can play around with here, but um, in this case we don't actually need to change any of them. We can just accept the defaults. If you want to get into more complex blending, then you can obviously play around with some of these parameters here. Okay, so we've got our composite transition in place. What do we need to do next? Well, we'll click here on this effect list tab and then we open up the category called alpha manipulation. So I'm going to double click on that. And you can see under here is our blue screen option. So I'm just going to take that and drag it to my foreground clip and drop it on. Okay, so we can see it says blue screen here, so that's applied the function. But if we click down here in the timeline again, we still see either the background slide or the foreground slide, but not both together. Okay, so what's going on here? Well, the thing is that we haven't set the actual color of the chroma key used in the blue screen effect. So what I'm going to do is if you actually go click on the um, foreground clip again and then resize this box in the middle you can see here our background color is set to a blue. So what we need to do in our frame of course it's set to green. So we click on this pipette um, and then we just pick up the color that we want. In this case it's the background so I'm going to click on that and immediately you can see it's replaced the green background with a composite of the foreground here which is these these letters the red letters here and the background slide which is our black background with the earth etc and our website address so we finally got there this is our composite image so if we play that back we'll see that we've got the background then we've got the composite of them both then we go back to the background incidentally if you find that you you get a speckly sort of uh, image and you can see here it's got a little bit of a, a green border around here sometimes very difficult to get rid of here yeah, you can play around with this variance parameter okay to actually increase or decrease the amount of background that is um, showing through so here now we've got rid of that uh, that green there by removing the uh, variance values here you can see if you put it up a little bit too much then you actually start clipping your foreground so Okay, a little bit of green there I can see, so let's just click that a little bit more up to there, and there we have it. So there's our final rendering of the two slides together. And that's how you use the blue screen effect. Thanks for watching.